is Tom Bancroft, CEO of Pencilish Animation Studios, and I'm a character designer too. Welcome to this Behind the Pencil. So as you can see, we're starting with a bear character. This is Dustin. He's a new character that uh, myself and a few others helped design. We did many different iterations of him. And um, myself and Audrey Witherspoon, actually, Pencilish uh, Assistant Art Director, on the Dustin sh series uh, helped fi finalize this design. Okay, now I'm pulling up some pictures of the real Dustin Nickerson. So this show is about him. It's his uh, stand-up comedian lines that we're using and we're creating a world where uh, Dustin, our Dustin, <laughs> the bear, uh, lives in the forest and he's a guy that's trying to support his family as a kind of a struggling stand-up comedian. Uh, we really are excited about this project, and so I contacted Dustin Nickerson, who I was already a fan of, and, and said, hey, would you like to do an animated uh, series together? Now, we're starting with uh, one minute or 30 second to one minute um, shorts, and we're going to drop them on our Pencilish YouTube Shorts channel, and that's how we're going to launch. We're going to be using Dustin's voice as the voice of our Dustin, and um, using his stand-up comedy. So as you can see, what I'm doing here is I, I'm looking at pictures of Dustin, expressions that he takes and things like that, um, and trying to sort of make our model of Dustin look like that. So it's really good to go from, you know, from real life um, and looking at, looking at photos and trying to get what is that kind of real Dustin Nickerson kind of a look. Um, and in some cases I get it a little closer than others, but you know, stand-up comedians are not necessarily known for making like wild expressions. Mostly they're using their words. That's the funny part. But all comedians, uh, the better they are, that they are doing sort of micro expressions to kind of get the point across, sometimes poses and things. And some of the other ones that are, are in this shot um, that I've already done, you know, like a traditional side view off to the left there, that kind of, ooh, you know, take, you know, surprise look on the top. You know, those are ones, and then sort of that angry one in the middle. Those are ones that you kind of just need in general, just to see the squash and stretch of the face. Um, and so I, I kind of started with those. They're kind of the easy go-to ones that you're like, okay, I'm going to need to see what his muzzle looks like when it's stretched and and then what's what's his muzzle look like when it's squashed you know how do the eyes react um, how do we show you know his expressions especially his eyebrows when we have glasses in the way um, glasses are always very problematic and so you have to really make sure you have room above the glasses for eyebrows expressions for big ones like in the take so I feel like these are, you know, I'm exploring that as I explore the expressions too. And this one I'm doing now is just to kind of get what is a, even more than a three quarter angle look like, you know, it's just past three quarter, not quite a side view. And then also he's got his microphone. I wanted to kind of work that in there uh, because it all takes place in a forest. He's got this microphone that's like a stick with an acorn tied to the end of it. We have a lot of kind of uh, fun jokes and humor about, you know, what would um, anthropomorphic animals that aren't quite like, you know, completely civilized, I guess you could say, uh, the world that they live in, uh, they don't have like metal um, and things like that. It's sort of this imaginary world where everything still is sticks and stones and uh, plants and that's what they construct their houses and buildings with. And we're having a lot of fun designing what is going to be a show we're calling right now tentatively the Nickersons, but it'll be a family kind of a sitcom with Dustin as the star, this Dustin, the bear, and his bear family kind of living into in this uh, modern but imagined sort of uh, fantasy world. So this angle, this shot is a, a fun one that I'm drawing right now. Um, it's that sort of sly kind of looking off to the side uh, kind of a look with a head tilt that really pushes that even more so. I think this looks very like a very much a Dustin Nickerson kind of a look. All right, so 
as this is going, you can see I'm just trying to cram in as many expressions as I can, too. It's sort of part of the game, too, with an expression sheet. And by the way, I'm drawing this in Photoshop, just using uh, Photoshop pencils and paintbrushes. Um, and this is sped up, but not not that much. Maybe maybe twice the time. So this probably all took me uh, about an hour, I would guess, uh, to do most of these drawings total. So now I'm using the model sheet here, and I want to try and get uh, based on the model sheet. How does it? How does he look when he does squash and stretch? Again, I'm drilling deeper into the muzzle shape here. It's kind of a more subtle squash than, than some squashes. But you can see even his like side cheeks and stuff like that um, will kind of go outward. Um, so everything kind of goes down and inward, um, but then things have to go outward too because it's you got to keep your volumes the same. That's something that a lot of people don't do. Here I'm doing the stretch version of the mouse, so you can kind of see the difference, right? We went from normal with the black line that I was going over. This is the stretch, and on the left there is the is the squash. Because really we're going to build this in Toon Boom Harmony. That's the animation program that we're going to probably use for this. And so um, these drawings are really just for reference, just say. And now this one I'm doing, I'm like, okay, what if you threw his head back and laughed really loud? Um, and I felt like that was sort of bear-like too. This is maybe a little past Justin Nickerson personality-wise, but um, I really like the idea of him doing like a big laugh, but also just show, okay, what if he really threw his mouth open really wide? What would that look like? You know, plus, and I'm, and I'm doing a lot of things on purpose here. I'm throwing the shoulders up too, because a lot of animators forget to animate the shoulders. They'll throw the head back like that and do a big laugh, but then the, head, the shoulders just stay in the same place. And man, it really pushes, you know, the expression, as you can see, just throwing in some shoulders that have been, you know, thrown up. All right, thank you so much. Bye-bye. channel.